What's good, y'all? It's the Miracle Manager here, checking in for an entry into my, uh, I can't really call it Sickly Shred Series no more. Uh, we're just gonna call it the Shred Series for now. Um, so, like I told you guys before, I'm extending the Shred a little bit. Um, I decided also I'm gonna change the way that I'm uploading videos. So, I'm gonna do two vlogs a week, and then also I'm gonna be putting up one one to two topic based conversation, uh, not conversations, topic based videos every week. Uh, just to kind of diversify the content that I'm putting out. And you know, I was trying to just do, um, you know, six weeks of consistent vlogging and uploading and it actually worked out. So those are my goals. Uh, so um, I'm just gonna switch it up a little bit now, get back to some more stuff. Um, if you ever have any questions and you wanna see a video about anything, Leave it in the comment section. I will definitely cover it. Um, but I have a wide array of topics that I want to talk about anyway. Uh, so I'm starting to get out, that out to you guys. Uh, as far as how everything's going, um, I enjoyed my birthday weekend. Put on a little bit of water, but uh, I've been gorging myself with water. I'm going to show you guys my new hydration technique. Because I've been bullshitting on hydration for like a year. <laughs> I used to have it in check. But then I never, not, I never bought another water bottle uh, after I lost it. So I bought this from Shoppers. And I'm, my goal is to drink this every day. And what's crazy is the BCAs that I have, if I put it in like 60 or 70 fluid ounces, just one scoop, it tastes good as fuck. So my goal really is like, you know, fill this up, um, drink probably like um, maybe like a third of it. And then put my scoop BCAs in it, like while I'm at work or later on in the day, and just sip on that. And I'm good to go. I got all the water I need. I've been past few days, I'm pissing like a fucking racehorse, like every like 15, 20 minutes, man. So um, it's definitely working. Um, it's helping me get the water out of my system, and also um, it's gonna help with like a lot of bodily functions. I'm not gonna feel like dehydrated sometimes like I have um, before, especially recently, because everything's like really intense and stuff. So. Um, that's a good day. Say hi to Henny. Say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera. I know you're eating. Say hi to the I need to wipe her eye. She always got some sleepy shit in her eye. But, anyway. Um, I'm about to do my ab routine. I just took uh, some supplements. Ah, so updates for what I'm doing. So I'm doing low carb um, every day except Wednesday and Saturday. And I'm also, I'm switching over to a Cedo L carnitine. team instead of just L-carnitine. Um, strictly for, number one, I've been taking L-carnitine for a while. Number two, I feel like acetyl L-carnitine like, works a lot better, especially like with low carb diet, because you're getting less insulin spikes and acetyl L-carnitine works without an insulin spike. And it passes the blood brain barrier very fast. And it's very effective for what it does, in my opinion. So, we're gonna see, um, how that works out. So this bottle is like 200 capsules and oh shit, yeah, it's a thousand milligrams per two capsules. So I usually take 1.5 grams of acetyl or carnitine if I ever have it. Well, 1.5 grams of carnitine as well. But anyway, um, I'm gonna hit my ab routine. My legs fucking hurt and breakfast. So I'm gonna put a picture up right here. Bam. And pretty much what it is, is kind of like a progress pick, I would say. Um, so six weeks went pretty good. Um, and I made, like I said before, I make a definite like changes to my diet and just change like a supplement that I'm using pretty much. Um, and I think that that's gonna pull me the rest of the way to where I wanna go. And I think like a three month transformation is a lot more uh, realistic, especially with the way that I'm doing it. Cause like, I'm not like, I, I can't stress this enough. I'm not cutting. I'm just like, I'm trying to shed, I'm just trying to shed some body fat. You know, I have two goals. Fat loss, muscle gain. Fat loss is the first one, muscle gain is secondary. And, you know, I'm just trying to gain strength, um, gain muscle, and also, you know, be able to shed down. And it's just a, it's a slow process when you do it like that. And it takes a very calculated, strategic, and planned approach. But it is possible, and I'm doing it. Um, I have seen um, a, a ex extraordinary uh, strength gains and also starting to see like growth and I'm also leaning up at the same time. Like for example, this little line right here, you can see the separation between my fucking delts. I don't know if I get the rear delt action, but 
just different things, um, like noticing like veins in new places and stuff like that. So always remember, man, go by your eyes. Uh, one thing I wanted to say too, too many people focus on um, fucking body fat percentages and what's my body fat and you know if I get to this body fat I'll look like this. No, you can get down to 12% body fat and look like total shit, okay? It's all about fucking muscular development. And what your abs show is also another highly debated thing um, because you can be someone that is like 10% body fat but you don't have abs because they're not fucking developed. Um, for me personally, um, my abs will start to show probably like below like 16% or even like, yeah, they'll start to show like probably between 18 and 16% I'd say. And um, it's, it's really hard to estimate your body fat. Like right now, honestly, excuse me, I'll say that like, like a, I'm probably like 12% around there. Um, so far, I've lost a little bit of body fat. I'll say that I was probably like, you know, probably like, like 14, 15 when I started this shit. Um, Probably about 12, 13 right now. So, start wearing my body fat percentage. Go by the mirror. Focus on developing your muscles because your abs are only going to show and your muscles are only going to show. Uh, if you get your body fat to a level that will show its current development, remember that shit. But anyway, I got some chest and back today. I might record some upper chest focus. So, I'm doing a lot of incline stuff. Um, and then also, I'm hitting some deadlift supersets with uh, rows and different type of movements like that. So, we about to get it. Chest inflated a little bit, but anyway, what's good, y'all? Man, I post workout, I had a great workout. Um, I think I hit some PRs too. Um, what did I do? So, incline bench finally hit 200 by seven. I think that's good, that's new for me. Um, so my incline is going up. Um, dumbbell flies, um, 55 was light as fuck. So, like, I did 45. My rep range for flies. Um, on my second superset, when I, I, I pre-exhausted with flies, and then did decline hammer bench. Um, I started with 45, and I got 18. I was like, damn, because I was supposed to get between 50 and 20. I was like, okay, I could probably do 50. I did 50, and then I got 12. And I was like, hold up, that means that if I did my first set, I really got more than 15. So I was like, damn, let me do, let me do 55. And I did 55 on the third set, and I got nine. And I was like, damn, I should start with 55. So strength going up, man. I love flies. Um, I can attribute a lot of my chest development to them. If you don't do flies, you need to start doing them from various angles and in various ways. Cable flies, dumbbell flies, even the little like uh, machines that they have, like on um, you know the pec deck is an example. On um, the incline uh, pec contractor, whatever the fuck you want to call it, that shit too. So definitely, definitely incorporate flies into your routine. Um, I need to go get some shit for my car. <laughs> But anyway, um, one thing I wanted to say, oh y'all say I did some deadlifts. I think I'm, I'm gonna add the clip. I put it on Instagram, I'm gonna add a little deadlift clip just so you guys can see. And you know, my back workout went really good. I love that little tricep I do when I'm burning out after my first back super set. But anyway, damn, it's cold as fuck. Um, I was about to say. Oh, so, a lot of people have an issue where they wanna watch the scale a lot. Now, if you're preparing for a competition or something and the scale matters to you, I look at my post gym real quick. Where's it at? Where's it at? There we go. Uh, post gym. So, if you're preparing for a competition or something and the scale matters and like you have to hit a certain number, okay, yeah. You know, or you know, if you're aiming for you know a certain amount of fat loss or weight loss, not fat loss, weight loss every week, then you know, by all means, focus on the scale. But, um, the scale is not, um, really the best indicator of uh, fat loss because so much stuff goes in our body that goes on in our body every single day like, like um water being stored food coming in and out water coming in and out um glycogen being stored all kinds of shit man so um i'll wait i mean you can measure it you know in the mornings and stuff like that but if you do something like me with your carb cycle um it's kind of hard to really you know 
you can't pick a specific day where you check your weight and stuff, but it's still not indicative of fat loss, you know. Um, so, for example, um, this is why I don't give a fuck about what this damn scale says. I was 174 when I went into the gym. Before I left the gym, I always weighed myself just because I like to look at the number, just see how much fucking weight I lose during the gym. I lost four pounds. I was 170 pounds when I left the gym. So this is like, does that mean I lost four pounds of fat? No. Does that mean that I, does that mean I burned off a fuck ton of water and glycogen? Yes. So, um, don't focus on the scale, man. Too many people, you let it get to your head. And I see this shit every single fucking day and it pisses me off. And like, just focus on your diet and being intense in the gym, you know? Just because I lost fucking four pounds in the gym just now doesn't mean shit. That doesn't mean I'm gonna lose an ounce of fat. It all comes down to my fucking diet and just keeping the intensity up and keeping the consistency up. So just remember that, guys. So I'm about to get my post workout shit in. Then I'm gonna get ready for work. I gotta shower up and shit. Um, and I'm gonna hit y'all with some more knowledge in a little bit. All right. So remember what I said before about um, not watching the scale. So if you're not watching the scale, then what do you watch? So what you need to be doing is pay attention to the mirror. The mirror is a wonderful creation created by whoever created the mirror. And it allows us to really, you know, use our eyes to see progress. And then there was another great creation, which I'm holding, it's called a fucking camera, where you can take pictures, even video, and you can do that over a span of time. So a combination of our eyes, the camera and mirror, uh, we can go ahead and track our progress. You know, I tell people, take a picture when you're about to start working out. Like whenever you're about to start like a workout plan or something like that, just getting into the gym, take a picture. Uh, yourself uh, uh, from the front and the back with your shirt off, okay? And every one to two weeks, take another picture. If you're doing things right and you're eating properly, you know, you're working all right, you will start to see a difference, okay? And uh, one of the first things that people really notice is like, you know, their waist, um, their pants, like their pants, when they try to put them on, will be a little bit too big. And I'm like, oh shit, the fuck? And they start looking at themselves, like, okay, you know, I got, got a little definition here and there, and you know, my belly's going down a little bit. So uh, just consider that, um, and you will be on your way towards, you know, your weight loss and fat loss goals and whatnot. But anyway, man. So I'm gonna say that that was my tip for today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna edit this and get it up. It's late as fuck. Um, but expect another vlog this weekend and either today or tomorrow expect um, Some topic based video. I think I'm gonna talk about BCAs. But anyway, I'm gonna holla at y'all man like Comment subscribe share this wants people to see this shit. I appreciate everybody that shares it and I'm gonna holla at y'all man. Make a man y'all